Hey everyone, Kevin here. This is a very quick video for fellow OBS users. I use OBS to record videos and to stream. When I was doing a live stream the other day, I ran into a lot of problems. I was trying to stream a game, um, Call of Duty, and the CPU was at 100% all the time. Now, this is a very easy fix. If I go over to my monitor, all I have to do is go to settings, go to output, and see what it says encoder probably if you're facing the 100% CPU problem or 99% you had the encoder at software x264 if you're streaming if you're streaming a game you probably want to set it to hardware nvenc and what this means is that um, your GPU will do the majority of the work you can see here the CPU and I've got Call of Duty at 20%, OBS is at 17%. Now, the other day when I was um, trying to stream live, I was running to the 100% CPU problem and OBS was using about 75% just with this webcam. Now, here's what confused me a lot. I've always known that you can change between hardware acceleration and the software acceleration for like, encoding for the encoder. But what I didn't know was that you have to restart your computer so if you're not doing any, anything intensive if you're not doing anything like recording a game for uh, for twitch uh, streaming to twitch streaming to youtube if you're not doing anything like that generally speaking it's better to use the software option and what x264 or whatever it's called um double check that x264 i was correct it's generally better to use that use that because you will get better performance in general there's a lot of other factors but generally speaking if you're not having the 99% 100% problem use your CPU but when you're streaming a game you're putting your CPU under a lot of load that's when you want to switch to NVENC now yesterday I knew this but yesterday when I was doing a live stream I changed from x264 the software to NVENC and then I streamed and I still got this 100% problem the problem was I didn't restart and I'm not just talking about the app because I did restart the app I'm talking about restarting my computer when I restarted my computer the problem was resolved so that's it guys that's all there is to it if you're recording with EB, uh, OBS if you're recording it directly to your computer or if you're live streaming and you're getting like 95% 99% 100% CPU all you have to do is make sure you change to NVENC change to the hardware encoder instead of software and you know what well, you will know yourself if you've got your cpu 100 percent you will run into audio problems video problems audio syncing and you know all the audio is out of sync it's all messed up and ultimately your computer could crash or the app could crash the game could crash so hope you guys find it useful if you run into any other problems just leave a comment below i'm not an expert but i will do my best to point you in the right direction thanks for watching until next time take care